Hi everyone. Hi y'all. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. And we are Garon Citry. The house uh -huh. of Garon Tottenbachs. <laughs> it's only been 20 some Please. plus videos. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. We are a floss tube about cross stitch. We are cross stitchers ourselves. And we own an online cross stitch shop. So we'll have a little bit of mix, a little bit of both. He's a crazy stitcher and a slow stitcher. Hey, it's new, <laughs> new and old. Or experienced. Yeah. Or experienced. That is good. That is good. No, that is perfect. Inexperienced new. and experienced. No, I like more <laughs> new and old. All right. Fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So we hopefully we got a good video for you this week. Um... Yeah. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you are new, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back to us and see us. Yeah. Um, we have a thank you card. The one of our designers, she sent us a, a beautiful thank you card for um, supporting her business. Is that way? I think it's this way. Okay, yes. And, and the designer's name is? It's uh, Violet and Versus. Yeah, Violet and Versus. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's, she's so a, nice she's a sampler designer. Time. So nice to take the time and uh, send us a car. Yeah, it's really nice to have handwritten Appreciate cards. Appreciate Yeah. So, um, let's see, what shall we do? I did shout outs. Oh, yes, we have shout outs. We have two people who shouted us, two floss tubers who shouted us out. So we want to thank them and shout them out as well. Uh, the first yes, one is um, Shibi's Stitchy World. Thank you. Thank you. She's in our she's in our group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sherry. Yes. 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 <laughs> I was like wondering if he's gonna know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one is a new floss tuber for me. I haven't watched her floss tube yet, but I will certainly watch it later tonight. Uh, Al Alan Gator Stitcher. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I wonder where she's at. Hmm. First video will be good. And then I think you said you watched a floss tuber this week. And see a floss tuber this week. A new floss tuber. Just the episode first. one, which was very yes. good. Yes. And she is very, very good, but I forgot right her name and all the information. I will give that next week. Next week. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have a cliffhanger there for you guys. Yeah. Stay tuned for next week. Yes. <laughs> Ding. Ding. All right. And then, uh, so let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, oh, we want to talk about our clubs. The stars. Starts. Or weeps. Okay, do you have any starts? Or do you want to leave him for the end? Do you have any starts? <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, do you have any finishes? Nope. Okay, that's why we didn't talk about this. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's see your whip. Have you, have you whipped anything? I have a whippy. Okay. I'm camera. working on uh, last week. I'm finishing my horse. <laughs> you guys know. I'm working on. Oh, where did my shirt? It's in the bottom. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold this for me, please. All right. I'm working on a patriotic Christmas Eve from uh, Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. And I'm finishing the horse. Yeah, last you, week. Yeah, because if you remember last week, it was a noseless horse, and we had to edit the video at the end and add the nose. Yep. And there, uh, Gina say we have to start the Santa this month, and I say nope, I'm gonna start next month. But that started over the top. here in the top. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Yeah, we got the in the top the flag. Mm -hmm. And um, that is all I'm, I'm working on this month and in, in, um, in this chart. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow is the first I have to... Wait, but what fabric is this? Oh, this fabric is my tag. The fabric is uh, color in cotton, cottage stone. Cottage stone. Cottage okay. stone. Oh, that's a very pretty color. Yes. 18 count. Yeah. It makes the white really pop. The candles look like they're glowing to me. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. And now I want to see... It's not a big project. 
on, no, eight, on 18 count. I mean, that's just, look at that. It's a little, yeah. Really cool. I can imagine on 40 count how, how big it could be. A little bitty bitty thing. Yeah, but this is when I'm, I'm working and I'm going back to that one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And, um, because tomorrow is the first. Yep. And I hope I can finish uh, this Santa fast because I'm holding and holding all, all month in that one. Yeah. Or well, we are too busy. And the other whip is I'm working this week on uh, with the people from, um, from Salty Stitcher Designs. Salty Stitcher Designs, and I make all this corner. Wow. It's like a triangle. Yeah. Semi triangle. It's a slice of a pie. Yeah. But that is when I'm working yesterday and uh, this week, mm -hmm. a couple of days in this week. Oh. And I'm working, and this one is Salty Stitcher, 16 counts. Angel Wings by Stephanie, uh, sorry, Fabrics by Stephanie. That always messes me up too, because you want to say the fabric is by, Fabrics by Stephanie. And it's like, ba 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 ba. <laughs> yeah, and uh, honest, uh, this one is supposed to be finished by tomorrow. And I didn't. Well, you won't be sleeping tonight. Yeah, I did. Nope. <laughs> Gosh, it's going to take me weeks for finish it. But I'm... It's I'm not good. I'm not stitching too much and, mm -hmm. and for weeks and months and yeah. But yeah. that is my two my two whips. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my and whip you whip. I am working on Halloween at Hakran Hollow. I've been working on the, this block. I've only got um I started at the bottom and went up. So I'm on the fourth block here and I just gotta fill in. I mean I said you you Fill in all through here. I got one little um, worm or two little worms over here to do. And then it's just all filled in the brown. Hopefully I can get some of that done tonight because um, on the first, I got to pick up a new designer. This is a uh, carriage house. Um, do you finish a little of that today? I don't know. It's, it's a lot of solid stitching, but I'll try. I'll get the most I can. Yeah. Yeah. And this is on a 32 count. Um, sugar cookies by uh, Graham Cracker Fabrics, and it's mm. it's a big fat half. <laughs> so that's all I've been working on, and I am kind of looking forward Only. to next month's designer so that I can get a lot of finishes because I didn't get any finishes this month. Yeah, well I finished a square, but it no count. But it does count. A square is the finish. <laughs> okay, you say so. All right. Um, let's see. So plans. So uh, plans we leave in for later. Yeah, we'll do plans later. Okay. And then um, let's do. Let's go. Let's jump and see what's new in the shop. All right. All right. What's new in the shop? Yeah. We let Gary explain this. Okay. This was a market release. It's called Chili Willy uh, Stacker, and um, what. It, what we got, why we're showing it this week is because we've got the three fabrics in the shop and the fourth fabric for the, for the hat. So I'm not sure where they go at each on here. I think it goes from light to dark because the fabrics are very similar. Yeah, the, the fabric. So this first one, this is a 32 count. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Yeah. And I think that would be the bottom part. I think, I'm not sure where they're at. Okay, like, you know, this is Chinchilla. Right. And then the next one. The next one is, hold on, I need to put it in. Pretty. The next one is the Smog. Smog. They look kind of the same, but as you can tell here, they're very similar. But as you go up, I think it gets lighter. I cannot see it. They play well together. And the third one, is brain fog yeah brain fog so this is the lightest one yeah i can see yeah that yeah that looks good yeah so all those are the three colors that go up to make this piece okay. and then then the hat let's look at the hat fabric oh the hat, the fabric. hat fabric is uh from weeks it's a wool and it's called i gotta read it it's called uh peacock so it's a herringbone peacock. And you need, and the pattern says you need a fat half. 
So, I don't know how. Yeah. Let me see, I can get it more. Right there. Yeah. Right there is when you can see the fabric. Oh, yeah, the herringbone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it looks pretty cool. That is. Oops, sorry. Oops. Yeah, I can see there's some of the herringbone on the top there and the way the hat's done. Yeah. Okay, there you can see perfect the fabric. Oh, maybe they use some of the fabric for the bottom too. Because it looks like there's something on the bottom. Oh, uh, for closing. Yes. Yeah, could be something. <laughs> from from because it's a far corner. Okay. Yeah. We say, it's a lot of fabric for, uh, for the little hat. hat. <laughs> but no, they're using the same fabric for the bottom. For closing it up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and you can see that now. Yeah. All right. All right, so that's that. And now we've got some other fabrics. Yes. Uh, we got... Dirty... Dirty... dirty, dirty, dirty my thumb. <laughs> dirty you. Dirty you. My name, Dames of the Needle. So it's kind of like a nice neutral brown. Um, there. Yeah. So this is one of those colors that would be perfect for some oh, of the... Oops, sorry. Some of the new designs uh, from, the designer, this from the designer focus for um, this month. Yeah, that's I had difficulty yeah. holding the. Plug yeah, there's not there. a lot of crazy modeling or anything. It's a very soft, yeah, color. Okay, and then the next one is we've got some fabrics by um, Fabric Flare. Yeah, and this is gorgeous. and this is really pretty. This is another music fabric, but this one has the words and it says "Oh Holy Night," so it's got the words and everything. And I think this would be really cool for like a Christmas fairy, Christmas elf, um, or yeah. Miss Christmas Eve. Any any number of the, the pretty ladies from from um, Nora Nor Mirabilia, or maybe Bella Filipina. So it, it's, it's going to be a nice a nice piece. Oh, holy night! Yeah. I wonder if the lavender and lace lady would look good on that. Ooh, the the uh, the Celtic Celtic Christmas. Or is it Celtic? I think it's Celtic. Celtic Christmas. Do I have it right? Yep, you can barely tell, but I think this is how it goes up. This okay. is the next one's called Script. So it's nothing you can actually read, but it's a great background fabric for if you wanted to do a piece for with some like historical reference or something Let's like see. that. See? Yeah. Just a slight different type of modeling. I think it's really cool. And these fabrics, we got them in 32 and 18 count Ada. Yep. Oh, this next one is my favorite. I like this one. I need that. Uh, another hand. I need another <laughs> hand, please. <laughs> this one is called um, Declaration of Independence. Okay. And it's got... We have to stretch it out in the bottom that, yeah. that way. Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Okay, so then you could put it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the signatures on the bottom there. That's really cool. <coughs> All right. So, you know, it's coming. All the nice patriotic stitches are coming up. So that'd be a pretty cool piece to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then while I was getting that, I just restocked some of our, our exclusive fabric that, that we have. <laughs> it's called Burnt, Burnt Parchment. And this was designed for us by Fabric Flares, our exclusive. So I thought that this is a really cool fabric. I love this. I'm thinking of doing um, that one design from Rosewood Manor with the parrot that came out two years ago, I think. I think that would be really cool. Make it look like an yeah, old. This is coming back to the shop. Yeah. I was confused. I said, wait a minute. I don't see this fabric before. Yeah, that's our fabric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, and then the reason for the fabric flare order is this fabric. <laughs> I guess I had to had to meet my minimum. So this is a fantasy castle, and it's used. Are in, you ready for this one, guys? Yeah, this one's really cool. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Cool. And it's, I love it because it's got enough space where you could put like a pretty lady right here, or you could stitch the yeah. the called for pattern, which is one. Rapunzel. So Rapunzel has got like the hair coming down and then it's a bunch of Quaker designs from RETM. Yeah, this is gorgeous. 
this I think this would be really cool with any other pretty lady. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the or mule even, uh, in back in the store. Or even if you wanted to do like a birth sampler for a little girl, that would be kind of cool. I don't know what pattern you would use, but it'd be kind of a cool idea. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. Yeah, All right. All right. So, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was all that was new. New and coming back. Yeah. Yep. So now we have. We're going to. Check, 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 Fo check. This designer focus. Yeah, our our uh, April designer focus is heart and hand needle art. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing her because she's got smaller patterns, so I can have more finishes. <laughs> I'm seeing at the table over there. Uh, oh, my okay. stash and my whips from heart and hand. All right, many of these charts I'm gonna show you guys have a plastic bag. It's because there's buttons or, or something inside. Yeah, and I don't want to open it. It's the way they give us, the designer give us. Yeah. That we had, the first one is... Spooky Cat. Now, these these first couple, you can either... Oh, right here. You could put them in a row like this. Or, or even in a banner. But this is the first one. It's Spooky Cat. Those are so cool. They are so small. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then this one right here is um, Witch's Brew. So you could change. There are you could, six of yeah. these ones. So you could change that top of that for like some sparkly thread or or even put in some um, some filament. So that would yeah. be kind of cool. This is the owl. owl. The owl. Owl. Yep. There you go. And then this is the reason that I got the series. The monster. <laughs> the monster. Yeah. So he is pretty cool. It is Jack o Lantern. Yeah. And these are very small. They're they're only <coughs> about uh, thirty by thirty. So perfect little finish. You could do a bunch. These and would be number six is Haunted House. Yeah. These would be cool if you finished them all as little pin pillows and put them in a spooky bowl. Yeah. Yeah. But they can in the road looking cute too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put these here and then Okay. All right, now we've got a couple of the ones that she finishes as with those little glass bowls. Oh, I forgot to bring the bowls over. You know exactly where they I are. I know where they are. We'll so be please. right back. Yep. Okay. I got the bowls now. <laughs> All right, so the All first right. one, I'll pull the, while you're doing that, I'll show the bowl. Okay, this is Holly Jolly Holiday. Mm -hmm. And you see it's got the white bowl there. So this is the bowl and you make the lid to go with it. So the bowl, they're, they're sold separate. Yes. So these were designed for Heart and Hand and it got the little Heart and Hand logo on the back of them from, from her. That's pretty cool. This is cute. Yeah. So basically what you do is you would stitch this and you'd follow her instructions to make the lid. And then you would only have one bowl and then you would change the bowl out for this, the lid for the seasons. Like this one. Yeah. So that would be the next season. Hocus Pocus Halloween. Mm -hmm. You can use the same bowl. For just, the, just for pop, the, yeah. You just pop the lid and here's the patriotic one. Land I love. Yeah. These are really perfect if you've got like a small space you want to decorate. Yes, they're very cute. And then another, oh, there's two Halloween ones. Ooh, creeping around. Okay. Yep. And it's using the same lid. Okay. And then now this next one is using, this will give you a, a this will, yeah, the next one is using two different bowls. So this will show you how small these are. Look at this little bowl. Round. This is, round red sampler yeah. this was the bowl that was designed for that sampler and, oh, yeah it's in go. the back yeah i'm sure you yeah. saw that okay see so you just make the little lid put it on top yeah and then winter white whirly gig whirly gig yeah and that was designed with the black one no white Gray. one oh the white one. You can use the oh, white oh, one. Oh, that was the too. big white one. Okay, I had them out of order. Okay. okay. That that's the bigger one. So this that's this bigger bowl. Yeah. Because okay. it's a white. Yeah. Yeah. 
so I'll put that in that order. Okay, there you go. This one is the this gray, is the gray one. one, little gray one. What well, this? Okay, hold on. Um, I lose my cell acorn. Board. Just acorn. acorn. <laughs> yeah, the acorn. Yeah. Oops. Watch the pattern. Is yeah, I'm, I'm. I see that. And there's a this little one charm. Have a little. No, it's not charm. It's like a little bead. Of, oh, beads. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And like a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me see where the beads go. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the acorn. The beads go be here. Yeah. You can see over there. Oh, that's cool. Around the bee. Okay. And then the next one is okay. the same. Okay, this one is a black one. Oh. Uh, or is it gray? I think it's one? gray. I think it's just looking oh. dark. Okay. But this is the the crow, and it comes with little beads too. Yeah, I think it's going with the gray one. Yeah. Yes, I, these are all and the And that one has bees too. Uh -huh. This is Holiday okay. Home. Mm -hmm. This one is, is also with the gray. Is with the gray. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got a little let snowflake. me cover no. <laughs> with this one. Yeah, this okay. is peace. <laughs> He's trying to figure out what to use. Yeah, and try to cover because this one has a little button white heart. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, and go next to the deer. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. And yes. forget the the charts have. So that's, that's what this is why I've been looking forward to doing this designer is because of all the little fun projects that she has. And okay. This is a, the same. This one is December twenty fifth. Yep, and that's on the red one. So there's actually two that's on the red bowl. Yeah, and I can show the bag. Because the chart, but that one have like a snowflake. Yeah, a little snowflake. Snowflake button. Oh, you can see it in there. In the front is better. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ooh, cool. And then and now we're back one to the have, This it's one is B. B. Yeah. I think this was her new one for this market. B. And this one had the little beads too. Mm -hmm. You can see it over there. All right. I like these. You can, I mean, these are like one day, two day, three day projects. Really cool. Oh, this is so cute. The snowman. And the snowman, look, the, the snow is in the front of the shark. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. and, that's, and that's with this size. Yeah. These are all like 30 by 31, 32 by 31. Now this one, next one is, is a different one. I don't know. It's made different. Yeah, it's actually. Neural and thread. Yeah, it's actually in a dish. So you put it down inside. Yeah. And you saw a picture yeah. in the back. Yeah. I don't know what that one's picture's for. Maybe you do only the tap for the smaller the head. Oh, or the pumpkin, whatever. It's, it's a, a tomato. It's a tomato. Yeah, it looks like the tomato tart. Maybe there's another design called tomato tart. It says uh, tomato tart. Okay. But but yeah, I see it go. So inside is shiny and the outside is matte, which is kind of cool. And that's the only one that I know of that goes in this this design. I think well, unless there's another one. There we have twenty. We Santa 2021. Yeah. She has a new Santa that comes out every year. And yes. um, sometimes you can still get the older ones, but not always. You just happen to have yeah. the 2021. Yeah. A very Merry Christmas. It's a little pillow. It's cute. Oh, look, it's like a what? companion piece. How? Huh. So look, I wanted to show. So it's like they have, it, like it's a companion piece for you to use the two together. Yeah. That's cool. And this one has little buttons too. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. always puts like oh, little, it's a little, little star. star. Yeah. I cannot show it because it's shy, but yeah. her little, uh, what is it called? I forgot the word. Little embellishments. Embellishments. Right. This next one is uh, imprints, berries, and bloom. So it's actually two charts. And that's really cool too. Perfect for a smalls exchange. You know, anyone's thinking of a smalls exchange? This is wild berries, you know, something wild, wildflowers. You stretch that word wild. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. 
And then here's uh, Honey, <coughs> Honey of a Frill. This is a new one that came out for Nashville this year. So uh, actually, this one goes with the the the, the big one. The big one, because she was saying that yeah, the, that, that one. one. So what you can do is you can you can stitch it this this way, or you can add this piece onto it and make it a little bit longer. So she said it's uh, the same scale, so you, it fits right in the series. Oh, cool. And this is the, honey, sorry, I got them out of order. So this was uh, Honey of a Tiny Town. And this is Halloween Trail. Yeah. And it has a big one also. Oh, my goodness. So this is Little Witch. I like this one. This is so cool. Halloween Tiny Town? Yeah, I think so. Yep, that's it. It's all I got this. It's the same color scheme. So they just go right in there. You can pop it in. You can do individuals, you can do it together. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I love the variegation that you And that, that is a... Yes. That, so you can make it as a drum. The Tiny Towns can either be made as a drum or as a uh, long picture. Yeah. This one you can do... As a square. As a, as a square, like a box. You know, like a little present. It's so cute. And now we're going to Tiny Town Blooming. Blooming. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it goes that way. Yeah. And then there was another one. I, I think I have this one on reorder. This is called Big Hearted Tiny Town. It's the Valentine's Day one. See what I mean? I mean, there's so many of these projects that are going to be fun starts and finishes and... and and you're just gonna have that nice boost of I've done it. This is one that's on my list to do. It's the Doodles Halloween. Because it's a very interesting, cool Frankenstein there. Look at that ghost. What is that? Is that like a weird, I don't know what that is. Is it a weird, what, weird jack-o'-lantern white thing, kind of cool thing with that the bats on top of? That's pretty cool. And this is a nettle, She's got a series called Doodles, and this one is Autumn. So, yeah. so it's got the nice, pretty cool. And these are not that big. These are about 65 by 64. So again, a nice manageable it's, project. And it's not in order because that is Adam, but here is a spring. <laughs> <laughs> spring? I'm not sure when she released them. And this is winter. Yeah, and I, don't, I love winter. Yeah, I don't know if she has a summer or. Oh, she has a summer, but we don't have it. Okay, so this is winter. I usually have it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. And now these are one, two, three. These are these are. Uh, will you do them all together, or you can do them as a block of nine, or do them individually, or as, as a row of three. She gives you a couple of options. So this is number yeah. one, Halloween Square Dance. So you get all three of those in there. Pick and choose which one you like. You could do that. And she's got the little buttons that go with them, all the little buttons and stars and stuff. Like right in here, it's got the little star on there. So there's a star button, a little star button down here. Yeah. And this one the same. And this is number two. It's got, look at the little bats. So what she's got is like on the back here, you could finish it as individuals or try to do three, three rows of three or, or do a block of nine, which is kind of cool. And this, is number oh, and this has got my little guy on there. So I'll, I will be doing that one. But actually I have all three of these to do. And this is number three. I love the little witch. The, the trick or treaters yeah. right here is fun. Look at all those jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, the little buttons, the little bitty buttons. Yeah. Very I tiny. I love that, yeah. Okay. This is my favorite part about being the, doing the designer focus um, for, for, this, for last year and this year is actually studying and looking at the designs. Because you, you see one or two that come out, but when you see a whole bunch of the same designer's designs at once, you're like, I'm really feeling some of these designs. I'm going to escape for a minute. Oh, okay. Do I wait? We shall wait. All right, so we're back. Yes, I'm All back. right, so here is Tweet Hearts. So she does a bird series, and this is Long-Legged Bird. 
Those are, so it's perfect for Valentine's Day. You can always start early for Valentine's Day. Sometimes they take a while. Yes. And this is... This perfect. is a beautiful... This is Hummingbird Sampler. And I had that one in my very place. Because it was finished for him as a because gift. Because my dear Andrea made for me mm -hmm. for Christmas. I think so. Yeah, I think it was for Christmas. Mm -hmm. This past Christmas, she made it for me. Yeah. But you see, it, they're and not that big. They're so cute. And and they're very fun to, to do. Yeah. And you and, can do your I, own finishing, pop I, it in a frame. I love hummingbirds. Yeah. These yes. are, what was this? This is like a, um, you know, maybe four by four frame. Yes, yeah. um, four by four. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'll show the little tag there. I don't know what that helps you find it if that's what you want. Because there's a couple of these, and they're all about the same size, which is nice. Yeah, but that was a press. And it's got the little buttons on there too. See? Yes, yes, yeah. Andrea sent it with the frame and everything. Yeah. Yep. The buttons are there. Yeah. All right, and the next one in the bird and series. The bird series is red, red bird. Red bird sampler. Now, I'm not sure how many of these charts we have, so maybe by Saturday they were sold out, but I will be constantly reordering these from the designer. I do have a box coming in from Cecile. Yeah. Next I week. know somebody go do that one. Ye old crow. Hey, how'd you know? I don't know. I just think yeah. maybe. And and the alphabet is really good to do too, because sometimes when we're alphabetizing things at, at, at the shop here, some of the letters get out of the order. So if we had a couple of samplers around with alphabet on, we wouldn't get them out of order, would we? Yeah. This is uh, Tom Turkey. Nice Thanksgiving sampler. Yeah. And Bluebird sampler. Bluebird. I don't know. I think Robin's probably like watching all these things. Like, ooh, 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 I can do that one. <laughs> this one. I don't open it. It's in the plastic bag yeah. because... This is um, spread kindness, and it's got a little wooden button and some felt. That one you so, can show. So it's got the back. wooden button right there, and then there's a piece of felt that you would put for right there. So it's... Yeah. Yeah. Again, this is um, super cute with a little heart. Look, there's a little hand, hand holding a heart. Oh, so cute. Oh, kindness. And this is, I love this one, 2022 Collector Heart. Right. As, yeah, she, uh, she does um, Collector Series. The 2023 we already got in and sold out. So mm -hmm. once they're gone, they're gone. We had a few of the 2022s left. And this is what the 2022 look like. Yeah, make life beautiful for others. Yeah, and it comes. I love the same. And this one comes with the fabric, the called for fabric. Picture this plus, which makes this kit very desirable because picture this plus is next to impossible to get and it's got the little wooden buttons so the only thing you'd have to do would be to add the threads so when a designer kits things up it's different levels of kitting up oh, this was new from market this is everyday things uh let's see. The everyday the, sweet little things the most beautiful yep yeah. and this one comes with a little wooden heart too yeah the little wooden heart is it's one of those little crafty little wooden hearts kind of cool mm -hmm. and oh then... wait there's more <laughs> I didn't say that. this is a new one that came out for this year too in yeah. search of the perfect snowman does it have the okay now this one doesn't have the little but buttons. buttons no no so this is the perfect snowman yeah. So cute. Right. So I have to get the buttons. Hopefully there's a pack. So this one either the big charts no habit. There's no buttons with this one at all. Oh, okay. This is floral etchings. Dummy. Yeah. No. So she did this is another this is a companion piece. Seasonal etchings. So she's done these etching series. Yeah. I'm showing yeah. the right one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I love the colors. Oh. Of course, you know this one's got my eye because we got the green fish on there. The rabbit is cool too. What about the rabbit? You could do just the rabbit, and and do it. Was is that like spring? Is it so since it's seasonal? Oh, uh, is it spring, summer, fall? 
winter. Hey, that's what it meant by seasons. I got it. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking. Sometimes, who knows what's, what's wrong with my head. That is all the shot we have for uh, Focus Designer. For Designer Focus? Designer Focus, I'm always saying. Backwards. Backwards. Yeah. So that's the heart and hand. And that's because I got him for correct me. Yeah. So this is a great month. I think we've got a great month. It's a long month. And um, I think it'll be pretty cool to have some of these started and finished or finished and started or whatever whipped. Um, so that is um, what we have in the shop. Now, what plans? Plans. <laughs> plans. All right. Plans for me is go back ah, to. I just had an accident. Oh my God. I'm going back to my. Um, uh, well, my two whips, but principal is do the Santa from um, uh, Patrick Christmas Eve. Twin Peaks, mm -hmm. I have to do the Santa. And if I finish the Santa, I'll go back to my with the people mm -hmm. and see maybe I can finish for next first April 1st next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> well, he that 2024. Next year. He, he threw that next year in pretty quick, didn't you? <laughs> well, um, that's because I'm backing and backing and backing. And yeah. But now I'm, I want to finish it. I want to finish I it. I think once you get out of the blue stars, I think you, you go pretty quick with the red and white. The stripes seem, seem to, because it's less counting, you're just doing yes. blocks of squares. Yes. The stars, you have to be very careful that you don't count 11 instead of 10. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. All right. So my plan excuse is me. to excuse me, excuse work me. on this baby one last time tonight. Yeah. Get as much as I can. Oh, I can just start framing him that way. Look, he's done. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get I'll get as much as I can. It may take me till 3 a.m., but it's not the day doesn't change until I go to sleep. <laughs> so, I can. Yeah. So then I do have more of this one on order from um, Heart and Hand because I realized we didn't have it. I was like, oh my gosh. So this is Halloween Parade. And I started this two years ago and wow. I'm like, it's so small. Why did I not finish it? Cause that was when I was doing one day, I did a star a day and I couldn't get that much done on it. And then I picked it up again for the one hour, I think AB Singo where I did one hour a day on something. And so this is on 32 count Cyprium. And of course I did my little guy first. I did Frank first. And then I'm doing the letters different than what the designer did them she did them all in one color oh okay and i'm doing them That's in cool in what's it called it's called trick-or-treat so i thought trick-or-treat would be because it really pops good on this fabric and i like the look of it yeah so starting like on the that. first of april i i want to have this guides done they're so cool so that'll be my definite focus piece and then after this one is done, I had a couple of others I was looking at, but fly in the floor. Yeah, they all fly. But I, I'll, I am organized. So, yes, I know this is called Red Round Sampler, but I needed green, so I'm going to use Miss uh, Miss Green uh, jeans from Belsois and do mine in green. It's still Christmassy. It's not supposed to be Christmassy. Oh, I'm thinking because it's, it's just, a red. It's, like, it's uh, a red. Ball. It's a red sampler. So I could, and I will <laughs> probably use the uh, the gray bowl, uh, green and gray. Okay. That way, it's not too Christmassy for Ronnie. But yeah, so um, that's the fun part about a single colored uh, project is you just pop in what color you like: blue, red, green, blue, purple. It's always it's easy to blue. do. Blue, somebody like blue. Who likes blue? I don't know. I'm thinking. I think they're a joy to stitch with. Yes, <laughs> joy, <laughs> joy to stitch it. <laughs> All right. So some of these others were gifts given to me by some of you. Uh, things I've purchased in my travels, and so it's nice to actually. I 
That's what I love about the designer focus is I also, not only do I pull the stuff from the shop, but I get to dig through everything that I own and pull out, which I'm amazed that I only have a little bit. So I have to go back through it again, but I think this is all I had. So I have the Holly Jolly Holiday. And see a lot of finish in April. So I will be working on, I want to work on this one. Of course, I'm going to say that to every one of these. And that was fun. And then, so here's what I'm talking about, the Wii Santas. This is a 2005 Wii Santa I found somewhere in my travels. He's very, he looks like a little European kind of Santa. I think he's super cute. Yeah. Does he have this? Okay. So he doesn't have the star. So I'll have to put a star on there myself. Mm. It might have been before she was doing it. Okay. Because this one, this is the, this is so funny. Look at her face. It says we sent it, but I think these are two elves. But I mean, it's hilarious. So this was the 2012 one. And it does come with the buttons. And then, of course, I have. We just talked about these guys because I want to do them as a, I want to do it as the block of nine. I think if you do three on the top, three kind of like the um, Halloween at Hawkwind Hollow, how it's just the blocks, do them all together, and I think it'll be super fun. So that's my plan for this. I don't have a big square, and then I did pull. I pulled a Christmas one, uh, Christmas Town, Christmas Tiny Town. I saw this one's the model stitched when I was out in my travel, so I thought, oh, I love this one. Oh yeah. It's so pretty. And then this was a gift sent to me um, by two different people. So I know I had this chart twice. <laughs> so someone really knows twice. me. Twice. Yeah, I don't have it here twice, but I, I, I know I received it twice. This is uh, What Do You Fancy Trick or Treat? And it's got, um, I'm sure. Yeah, it's it's got this. They showed it finished in two different ways, but isn't she cool? I love the square pumpkin. It's like uh, Elvira or somebody like that, or the Mistress of the Night. Yeah, super cool. And then this one is one that I purchased probably when we went to StitchCon. This has got keepsakes on there. Uh, it says, "Here's the skinny on Halloween." I love the one-eyed green monster. And it's like, ah, oh, I love all these. Those are so cool. And and these, they open up this way. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, oh, you actually get two charts. Hey, I just noticed. You get two charts. You get the long one here, and then you get the little individual one. That's cool. Okay. Oh, look, and see? She, she's marketing to me. She knew I would. I liked this one, so then she had. She said, look, if you like that one, you must like this one too. <laughs> Always look at the marketing. And this one was one that I'd found in my travels. It's called Autumn Medley, so it's another long one that you do. So it's it's not Halloween, but it's autumn. It still goes with Halloween. I gotta get the buttons, I gotta get the candy and the candy, all the leaves and stuff. That'd be cool. This was a gift given to me by um, one of the ladies. She owned a shop out in California. She since closed it. It's uh, Pat's, was Pat's. And she had got this for me and she gave me the button pack too. She was so cute. Which reminds me, sorry Pat, I gotta, I gotta relate to your email. I just remembered, oh my God. She sent us an email right before market and I was in market brain. I gotta reply to Pat. Sorry, Pat. Okay, so this is Jack-O-Lantern Jack Bright. It's called Halloween Medley. Look at the little ghost there with the, the eyes. And this is a button right here, so you don't stitch the cat. So there's a giant button. In case Pat not see this video, and you know Pat, tell her, Gary, apologize. I will apologize in writing also. <laughs> I will make a note. Email. Pat. Pat, oh my God. Market brain is like the worst. Yeah. Because you have all these things in your head and then bright, shiny thing, bright, shiny thing, bright, shiny thing. You're like, oh, oh my God. Market is gone. Now the brain is retreat brain. L yeah. Retreat. <laughs> so I, yes. I think, I, I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure I've replied to everybody's email that's asked for things and had questions and stuff. But if I have not, please resend. Yes. Um, because I try to go through. I've, there's like 4,000 emails in that email box. And I've gone through and pulled out what I can and what I responded to. I'm pretty sure I got everybody. But I knew just yeah. now I did not get that. <laughs> but if you send email and you know got respond and next day, say it long time next day, please resend it because I probably missed for it. For some reason can be missed. Yeah. Or, or maybe the email was was email address was done wrong. Yeah, because when I wake up in the morning and check the emails mm -hmm. and check the Facebook group. Yeah. And I see some emails I can reply and reply. Mm -hmm. If I don't know the answer, I'm make a note and put it in the computer <laughs> yeah. for Gary. Yeah, because some, sometimes the emails take some time to research. <coughs> so, um, yeah, because this morning, what's this morning? Oh my goodness. Okay. Somebody send email and say, what send it? Say yesterday, 3 p.m., and we just got it. Oh, it just came through. Yeah. Oh, wow. For some reason. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I see that too. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes right. the email taking a while to, to arrive. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the but, servers. I don't know. But to email us, just always um, in our website, there's a contact me section. And, okay. and please, when you when you use the contact me, it asks you to put in your email address. Please type your email correctly because I'll hit respond and it sends my response to the email you typed in there. I've got a couple of bounce backs. Yes. And it the person didn't put their name in there. All it was was the email address. And when I go to my website to look for that email address, it doesn't, it's not real. So I'm like, how do I respond to this person? <laughs> and I'm like, maybe they'll resend. So I've, th not that, that doesn't happen that much. This is one or two times this happened, but it, yes. but it's, it's annoying because I'm like, I really gotta, I wanna <laughs> respond. It. I wanna respond. Yes. I'm a little, we're a little anal about, or, you know, I gotta respond. He's, Ronnie calls me from the shop. What's going on? I'm busy, I'm responding. <laughs> So it's it's fun, you know, and it's really enjoyable because it's responding that you like to do. Yeah, and we try uh, to keep it um, in touch the faster we yeah. can. I still don't feel like it's work. I just feel like we're we're having. It's not like a nine to five job because it's twenty four seven. But anyway, it's not. <laughs> it's it's a lot. Here's it down here in the computer. Okay, I'm down there cutting, cutting, cutting. Yeah, down. but it, it. I have fun. I love my job. Yeah. Well. Gary says it's not job. It's a job. It's yeah, a job. It's, it's really fun. And I'm so I grateful. I love what I do. I'm so grateful that we are able to do what we do. I yeah. think it's really fun. Um, I had to mention mm -hmm. about my bag of the month. I had two members. They um, messed it up because one was 12 by 18. I'm thinking it's two because it's the only way. I do exactly... Number of bags. M number of bags and go ship it. No counting the minis that I'm drawing. Mm -hmm. But I'm sending one, she is 12 by 13 and I'm sending 12 by 18. That means I'm sending somebody a 12 by 13. Yeah. And I'm so sorry, that was a mistake. But if you know like the, the size you, uh, the wrong size and send, please email me and let me know. I can fix it out somehow. Mm -hmm. Please, yeah. because I don't know who I'm, the other person the I'm sending wrong. I know one and really talk to her and by email, mm -hmm. and, but the other person, I don't know who is. Yeah. It happens. And, and yeah, but I know like that thing. Yeah. It stress me out that the, I make a mistake and yeah. I want to be you happy for what you order and you got it. Yeah, yeah. that is the point yeah. for me. And then so while we're talking about clubs. <laughs> talking about? About clubs. We want to thank everyone who's, who's in our clubs. Yes. Because um, every month it's a joy because we, we feel like we know you because we, we recognize your email. We recognize your name. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's got that back. Oh, yeah, she's got that one. And so it's really fun. Um, when you're, um, cause you're in the bag of the month, um, it's been, some people has been in what, since, since the beginning, we still have a couple yes. people from the beginning 
We have a lot of people that come in new. Her. A lot of people that come in new, and and there it's exciting to meet the new people. Well, we meet you through the, through your bag purchase and everything, and and then um, and then when you're we got our bag of the month, we got our fabric of the month. The Atomic Ranch fabric of the month has been going on for a while since January, and that's been an amazing. The guys at at Atomic Ranch are on the spot, on the job. They're 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 really good with with helping us out, making sure we're. We're on time with you guys, and that was we told told people when we're doing a bag a fabric of the month club, we expect to have it before it's due to you. Everything, everything, <laughs> everything. We want yeah. one month in advance so that we're not chasing you down for or two months in advance for some of our like Australia. We have two months in advance because we can't control customs, we can't control shipping. So all we can do is get it early, get more of it. Yeah, and and so. Um, our fabric of the month, our thread of the month club. That's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, when well, you been, say Australia, but, but yeah. okay. Our thread of the month club. It's has, coming from Australia. It's coming from Australia. It's been we've been doing it for a year. Yes. Uh, it's it's amazing. We only had one little hiccup, and it's because we moved our thread went to the old address, and then the post office lost it, so we had to reorder it. And we still didn't have a hiccup to the customers. You guys didn't even yeah. know it happened because we were two months in advance. I was. We, we were not happy. We were biting our nails. No, but thank you to Cottage Garden. They they react very fast yeah, to they, us and send and run and send it yeah. fast. Yeah. Yes, they're really good. I mean, yeah. we've got the next two months here. She's already sent me the picture for the next th for the third month and the invoice. So I've already paid that and, and taken care of that. So mm -hmm. it's nice to know what's coming ahead and what what we're getting so that being said it's been 11 months of heaven with them we have one more month till the 12 months is up with the fabric of the with the thread of the month club if you want to stay in the thread of the month club there's nothing you need to do it'll continue rolling over and we'll just keep getting threads in because it's such a success we initially why we said the year was because we wasn't sure we didn't want to commit for longer than a year because we weren't sure how it was going to work you know, if we had a bunch of months where we missed months, we were going to cancel it instantly. But, you know, we didn't have any problems with the post office, knock on wood. <laughs> and so we want to continue it going. So um, the last invoice for the 12 months goes out on the 28th of April. April. And that'll be the commitment of your 12 months if you wanted to leave after 12 months. Uh, yeah. We have already a few people that's in that category. So if you're in that category, let us know so we can get your spot filled. We, and also we don't have a waiting list. So if you want to join the club, you're able to join the club. Yeah. Yeah. And one more happened in April 28th. Well, uh, let, me, let me finish with the thread. Oh, first. okay. And if you do want to join, we are lucky enough to have a few extra packs from previous months. I normally have like two months previous. So if you wanted, I've had other people who said, oh, I'm going to join this month, but do you have the last two months threads? I said, Sure. So I'll send you three months. So so we had a couple of ladies who wanted to do that. So that's really cool. And um, and another thing happening in April, April the 28th, 28th, which is another Australia event. What do you know? Yes. This is Australia. Uh, Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month Club will start. The first invoice will go out on the 28th. The first shipment will go out on the 28th. And the first color is an exclusive color. Designed for us, and it's no, we're not going to tell you what Beautiful. color it is. It's a very pretty color, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And um, I'm excited to be uh, supporting that club because I think it's going to be a really, really fun. So every other month, one month, or the first month, it's a design color for us, and then the next month, it'll be a color from their line, and then the next month, every other month, will be a color from their line, and then a creative color for us. So, yeah, thank you, Brent, for that beautiful color. Yes, so yeah. that's super nice, and it's really fun. And, and uh, I see you have fun and got pictures of you with the color everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're always arm deep in color. Like, How do you guys... Oh, my gosh, these rainbow color people. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, uh, so then we'll have Bag of the Month, Thread of the Month, Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month, Atomic Ranch Fabric of the Month, so it's going to be four fabrics of the four items monthly clubs coming out on the 28th of every month. 
So please relax. Don't breathe. You confuse me. You say fuck bag of the month, thread of the month, bag of the month, no. thread of the month. No. I said fabric of the month, bag of the month, fabric of the month, fabric of the month. Did I say it wrong? You say again? three times fabric of the month. I have I have sorry. I'm the addicted. Bag, I am a, my a, bag of the month. I'm I'm addicted to fabric. Green so. guard of the month. Thread of the month. Atomic Ranch bag of, fabric of the month. <laughs> and Fox and Rabbit fabric of the month. It's five. Five clubs. Oh, I keep forgetting about the Grand Guard of the Month Club. Yeah. It's a small club. The, the, the Green Guard is a small, it's, it's very small. I don't know. Small club. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's no, but that's what started everything. That yeah. was the baby. That yeah. was the, the, yeah. the beginning of, the, of Garon Totem Bags. Mm hmm. Yep. It should be called Garon Totem Grand Guards. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no, we knew what we we knew we were going somewhere else with this. Um, that's kind of. I funny. have no idea. I'm going nowhere in that time. I, I I don't always tell him what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it makes right. my life easier. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was fun. So um, so clubs are gonna are fun. Uh, we're getting ready for. This is our banner, our sign, "Sitting in the Wild." So Ronnie was cutting fabric for the exclusive design from one of the designers. It's going to be, it's um, the, the exclusive design that's going to be at Stitching in the Wild. So we will have the fabric. We have the fabric for. No, no. Wait a minute. You huh? say Ronnie was. Ronnie cut it, cut the fabric, and yeah. serge the fabric. So now we have to package it. We're waiting on the threads to come in, so we should have yeah. um, the threads for that design. They're on order, so they they should be coming in next week. So we want to pre-package and have all that stuff kitted up for you guys when we go out there. And then you can buy the thread pack, the fabric, and the chart. Yeah. For those it. who are waiting for bags, I am working on the bags. Regular bag sale on the website. Regular bag sale, yes. Mm -hmm. Regular bag sale. And I will show you some of the bags next video. Video. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, because I'm ready for doing the second iron. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'm going to start doing the second so, iron. So in theory, we <coughs> could have a bag sale on... The tomorrow in two weeks. The 15th. The 15th is? Saturday. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's a good day. Is the 15th? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, tomorrow is the first. Yeah. First Saturday. Second, seven, the third. Okay, yes, the fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the fifteen. I can have. Back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'm doing only the second iron. Uh, blue, blue, blue. <laughs> you got fourteen days. <laughs> yeah. You know sewing. You know iron. You know press. You know back row. Oh yeah. I'm going to have it ready. You'll have it ready. I yes. know you. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Are we, we're, uh, I, I sent out for all the people going to the Stitching in the Wild event. I posted the uh, schedule uh, for the event, what's going on. Through, for, that is for in the, the, days. the group. Yeah. Well, that, that and, is, you and post in the so group. if you want to go out to the f Facebook group, if you're seeing Stitching Wild, please go out there and look yes. at that. And then I also emailed you. Uh, the people that are not in the Facebook group um, that's in Stitching in the Wild. So okay. I sent out a mass email to you. So please check your email. I just wanted to get a couple of... Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I forgot people don't <laughs> join the groups. So some, they people, are, some of you know are in Facebook. Yeah. So yeah. I wanted to make sure I caught everybody. So if you're watching this video and you're going to Stitching in the Wild and you haven't seen the schedule, um, check your email or check the Facebook group. And I don't blame you because I'm in Facebook because of business that I... I know that kind of person to be in media. I love Facebook. I love yeah. the positivity. I go to the positive groups of Facebook. Well, yeah, so, of such course. as such as C Zook Stitch. That's a good Facebook. But group. I am not. Well, maybe for my work yeah. too, because I don't have the time to go and yeah. search or do things in, in, in Facebook. Yeah, I don't make a lot of comments because I. But I I, I read every a lot of things. <laughs> Hearts and likes, and yeah. ooh, I gotta save that for later. Screenshot, save that for later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. Did we? We did stitching in the wild. We did the designer. 
Um, we're done. Yeah, I think we're done, people. Yep. So thank you very much for spending some time thank with us. Thank you so much, y'all. Love you. We should have lots of finishes next video. No promises. Maybe one.